you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my King. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Saint Paul tells us today that we live and move and have our being in God. And it's also not to touch our hearts to cleanse us so that we experience God's presence within our hearts and experience it all the way. Lord, you come to heal the contrived. The Lord have mercy. The Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring us pardon and peace. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord, the Holy Spirit, you send us to the Lord after this sacrament. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on and earth, earth peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise, praise you. you. We bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. We take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in this street the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming to all the saints. Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown god. What therefore you unknowingly worship I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, 
because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth. And he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said. For we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image, fashioned from gold, silver, or stone, by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent, because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice, through a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, We should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The response for the psalm, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot hear it, bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I have told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends, uh, you must have heard the phrase uh, when some people say, you know, I'm spiritual but not religious. And uh, some, will, some will say, I'm religious but not so spiritual. That's the other way around. So here Paul is looking at, uh, he is visiting uh, Athens, the Greek city, famous city which has produced uh, great philosophers and uh, 
like Socrates and Aristotle and a number of other Greek wisdom. So he is seeing something positive in the Greek culture and the Greek wisdom and commenting on and appreciating even seeing a Erephobus, that was said to, to an unknown God. They did not name God there because they believe that you cannot name God because God is beyond. God is mysterious. So Paul is taking those uh, good aspects of understanding of God and say that if you believe that you live and move and how you're being in God, that is great. That is, uh, you believe those and then he's commenting in a way saying, you know, you are religious, you are religious people. He specifically says you are all religious. I appreciate that. Then he leads them a little more depth of spiritual of uh, and leading them into finally he says, all your wisdom, all your religiosity, I wish moving to appreciate the one man who has been risen from the dead and who is Christ Jesus. So he is leading into from a God-centric to Christocentric way of life. And then some of them scoffed at him because he talked about resurrection. Some of them listened to him like the court officials who would not only listen to him, believed in him and followed Paul all through his life. So therefore you find today and the other way around is uh, somebody will say I'm spiritual but not religious which is what we hear these days. Especially from millennials and others who say I'm spiritual, I believe in God but I don't care about the church or I don't care about coming into mass or any other place like that. So that's a divide. Where I call it something like, uh, if you're going to one extreme, that'll be like a baby with a bath of water is gone away. It's gone. If you go to the other extreme, you're killing the baby. You know, literally, the two extremes of uh, political views, religious views, that can really dichotomize. If you really think through our judgments and our our way of thinking, many a time we are, we are victims of that. That's why it's really important to keep an open mind. Also the same way of rooted in the tradition and then growing it, having the roots and the wings to appreciate and to grow strong in our spirit. So therefore today we can appreciate along with the Paul saying, yes, we are religious and spiritual. We see the spirit moving in our hearts, we are rooted in our tradition, but also we grow into the modern age to be flexible, to embrace the changes and bring the spirit into today's world. So may for that God in Christ Jesus continue to live in us, move in us, and then we can say it is Christ who lives in us and not I, and that God will come. God will bring greater fruits into our own very lives. Let us offer our intentions uh, for this Mass. We remember Dave Flores, uh, that the Lord may continue to bring peace uh, to Dave's heart and his soul. We also remember uh, all those who suffer sickness uh, because of the COVID-19, our families who are affected, and also people who are who experience death uh, because of uh, the, the pandemic. Let us also remember uh, Carol Salvo, who just passed away yesterday, one of our uh, uh, charter members of our parish. I uh, remember him, and he'll be, his funeral will be on Saturday at 10 o'clock. Remember the whole family of nine children and all their families. So also remember the frontline workers, the nurses, doctors, who are always in the front line of us in their own lives. All this intention, let us offer through the intercession of Mary and pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Those that are in unguardable creation of wickedness, we are as bread to offer. To the earth as given and the human hands of many will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Those that are in unguardable creation of wickedness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work with human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange perfected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of one supreme Godhead. For I may pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours for a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. The story of right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord. But at this time, O Lord, to praise you to more gloriously. And Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment and the reality of the cross. By commanding, commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the free slaughter and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, offer with the past of joy, every land, every people, exhaust in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they claim. Holy, 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 the Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy therefore the scripts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like it before so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into this passion, he took bread, giving thanks, and he broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you hold us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How may we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis of Paul, William of Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, and we are called from this love to your Son. Grant that all those who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our dear brothers and sisters who have died in your great mercy, 
Welcome them the light of your face. How much shall us all we pray? Through the blood of the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph the Spouse. All the apostles and martyrs and saints, walk with you through our ages, and merit to be choirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we live and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our serious command and form the back divine teaching. We invoke our Heavenly Father, our Father, our Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and wildest streets in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sins, and protect us from all distress, as we await the blessed of the hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, is of your apostles, I give you peace. My peace I give you. Look down on our sister and the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And in your spirit. May your spirit be to the Son of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, and behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who come to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter into my life, life, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be My dear Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
to break out of this bond and receive you sacramentally. Come and be spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there. I unite myself fully to you. I will permit to me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from the former ways to the newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So I peace the Lord and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.